to Mike's Masterclasses. My name's Phil Robson and we're going to be looking at something I've decided to call the diatonic equation for our purposes. I hope that's not too grandiose a title but I've, I've chosen that title because we're going to be analysing uh, three classical scales which are the major scale, harmonic minor scale and melodic minor to find the incredible wealth of goodies which are contained within there's all sorts of different chord types. Uh, hopefully we'll find some new voicings and some new improvisation ideas. And we're going to head towards the idea of finding alternative scales for chords that we're already super familiar with, like minor seventh chords, just from those three scales alone. And we'll also be providing a, a summary sheet and some other written materials. So uh, thanks for joining us. Seven, B half diminished and back to our major 7 chord. So let's do the same with the other, the other scales. Let's do harmonic minor first. So this is the first one. C minor major 7. Second one is this. D half diminished. Third one is this. Nice, uh, nice sound that one with a big strong G triad over the top which makes it sound really bright so that's E flat major 7 sharp 5 next one is this F minor 7 G7 A flat major 7 there's a little diminished one there B diminished and then we're back to our original one okay so now we'll do the same with melodic minor this is example number three. Same, same arrangement of notes. C minor major seven. This time we just have a straight D minor seven. E flat major seven sharp five. Okay, to give it the homemade touch, here's my, here's my sheet of notes. Um, hopefully you can see that okay. But you can see here that just from harmonizing these scales in both thirds and fourths, we've generated an incredible amount of different chord types. And uh, we now come to the section of uh, the video where we actually think about this equation. So, so that's going to sound a lot more apparent with the Phrygian, so let's try Phrygian scale over exactly the same chord, so over D minor 7 again, but again I'll try and create a cadential effect because I'm going to pick out the strong notes of D minor 7 sometimes and then bring out the notes which are possibly more dissonant to the sound, like the E flat from the Phrygian scale. Okay, so I'll just improvise away here. Thank you. 